This is a little song I'd like to share with you from Ballads and Tales of the Woods, my first book of short stories and songs. I wrote this back in the Ozark Mountains in the early days when a buddy of mine and I, Jeffrey Gale, who's a basket maker, he and I were looking for land in the Ozarks and we met some folks, invited us out to their little farm and I was walking across their barnyard when all of a sudden, boom, oh, I got a sharp pain in the back of my leg. And when I looked around, there was this rooster. He was all bowed up. He had come up and he had jabbed me in the leg with that spur on his foot and it hurt. So I decided I was going to write a little song about that. It's called the Chicken Coop Song. And it goes like this. Walked inside the chicken coop to get myself a meal. Rooster was a watching me, he knew it was a steal. By the time I hit the yard, he came up from behind. He stuck those long spurs in me, and it made me sing this line. And I say, ouch! Summer days, I say, ouch! Summer days, went outside on a winter's morn to see what I could see. Nothing in the snow but my foot tracks and me. Then I came across a print that looked just like a bear's. When I raised my head to look, you know who was standing there and I said oh. <laughs> winter days I said oh. <laughs> winter there just as fast as I could go. I was digging up the ground. I was kicking up the snow. Then I came across a cave where I climbed down inside. There was a mountain lion waiting. She was checking out my hide and I said looky here pussycat don't go anywhere stay right there I've got 500 pounds of meow mix in my pickup truck I'll be right back honest Here's a little tune I'd like to share with you. This is from my third book, Earth Tales and Bird Song. I wrote this in the hills here in upstate New York where we used to live in the old farmhouse over on Brink Hill Road. The song is called Jake the Snake. Now, this is one of those songs that I like to sing where you can sing along with me just by snapping your fingers. I'll teach you the chorus to the song that you can go sing with me. And it goes like this. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake, Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. All right, remember now, snapping your fingers, you just take your thumb, count over three fingers. One, two, three. Put that third finger up against your thumb and press. And if you can't hear it, just remember, just keep practicing. It won't be long before you, you'll have it. So Jake the snake. 
We'll start out with the chorus together, and then I'll sing the verses. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. There was a snake. His name was Jake. He lived in a hole as long as a rake. He could not sing, he could not talk, but he could crawl instead of walk. You sing, Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Jake crawled off find a friend. He crawled over the log's long end. He looked to the left. He looked to the right. But there was no one there in sight. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. But then Jake felt the paws of a dog. He crawled quickly into the log. He crawled by the side. He crawled to the back where he could hide. You sing, Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Jake looked out and there he saw a very curious puppy dog. The puppy barked. The puppy growled. He saw Jake and began to howl. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Jake coiled up and shook his tail. The little puppy began to wail. He fled to the left. He ran to the right. He took off till he was out of sight. Hit it! Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Jake crawled home all by himself and pulled a good book from the shelf. He flipped the switch to the solar light. Then he settled in for a cozy night. One more time. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Jake, Jake, Jake the snake. Now, if you remember from the first time I shared stories and songs with you, I mentioned that as a storyteller of the ancient oral tradition, before I can leave a session of stories and songs with you, I have to perform by the tradition a magic trick. Now, the first magic trick I shared, if you recall, is I used a cap to turn out the lights in the room. This magic trick I would like to share with you today is a little bit different. This one is a very special magic trick of mine, and that is that I'm going to take this simple, ordinary piece of paper, it's a tissue, and I'm going to make it disappear right before your very eyes. Now, I could prove to you that this is tissue paper by blowing my nose in it, but that probably wouldn't be very polite. So you'll have to trust me, ladies and gentlemen. You can see how thin it is. It is tissue. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make it disappear right now before your very eyes. Please observe, there is no string or no wires. There's no trap door. There's nothing in my hands. There's nothing up my sleeve. There's nothing up my pant leg. So please observe. 
ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to take this simple ordinary sheet of paper, this thin tissue. Now I'm going to wad it up into what we normally classify as a lot of garbage. <laughs> and now on the count of three, I'm going to make it disappear. Please observe, you will never see this again in your entire life. Ready? One, two, three! Sometimes the magic works, sometimes it doesn't. <laughs>